in PM data paper, or oh, this spot login data set, we combine traditional live login data with spot activity data. In this presentation, I am going to show why this data set is important for researchers in the data analysis field and machine learning field. First, I am going to present how did we collect this data set. Secondly, I am going to show what kind of parameters we collected for this data set. Then, we are going to consider a simple experiment we have done as an example experiment. Finally, I am happy to discuss some research directions for this data set. How did we collect this PM data data set? This data come from three different sources. The first source is from Fitbit Versa 2 smartwatch wristbands. The second source is the PMC's Spot Login smartphone application. And the third one is Google Forms. For this data set, we collected data from 16 participants in five months period. Within these 16 participants, there are 13 males and three females. Next, we are going to see what are the main parameters collected for this data set. All the collected data parameters can be divided into two categories like objective parameters and subjective parameters. As the objective parameters, we can identify heart rate, sleep, calorie consumption, movement distance, weight, and activity sessions. Under the subjective parameters, we can identify wellness, training load, injuries, drink intake, and food. Press we will consider the data collection method for the main objective parameters. In these two categories, the main objective biometrics and activity data were collected from Fitbit Versa 2 smartwatch. We asked participants to wear the watch as much as possible. For example, we ask them to wear the watch when they go to bed also. In addition to that, we advise them to use the exercise menu option of the watch when they do activities like walking, running, or biking. Otherwise, the watch was enabled to detect activities automatically if the activities are longer than 15 minutes. Now, we will see what are the main subjective parameters. To collect subjective parameters like wellness, training load, and injuries, we use the PMC's smartphone application. Example user interfaces of this smartphone application can be seen in this slide. Using this data, we can calculate train load. The train load or session rating of received exertion is a metric calculated from the product of the session length and the reported rating of received exertion. In addition to the data collected from the smartphone and the smartwatch, there was a Google form to collect additional information. Using this Google form, we collected demographic information, food, drink, weight, and food images. We asked participants to record this data once a day. As you noticed up to now, yes, the data set has different rates for data entries from different sources. For example, the smartwatch has different rates for entries such as per minute, per day, and per second. Also, it records some data entries when it happens. You can see these changes in the blue section of the table. But 
for the Google Forms, we ask participants to fill it once a day. For PMC's app, we can see that it has three different trends for data files collected from it. You can see this in the yellow section of the table. The first and the second plot shows the number of entries in the data set based on different types. What are these three different data files come from PMC's smartphone application? As you can see here, it provides three CSV files called injury, wellness, and SRPE. Here, you can see changes in sample data records within these files for a selected user. Up to now, I have given a basic idea about data collected for this PM dataset. Then, we are going to investigate a simple machine learning application from this dataset. In this simple machine learning problem, we are going to predict three classes for the next day of the user based on the data come from the previous days. These three classes are weight goes down, weight goes up, and no weight changes. For this experiment, we considered features from all three different data sources, Google Doc Reports, PMC's Wellnet Reports, and Fitbit Sleep Scores. For example, we have used weight previous day, water, alcohol, breakfast, lunch, dinner, evening, mood, etc. For these experiments, we mainly select random forest and classification decision tree. The tenfold cross-validation technique were used for these machine learning techniques. Within these experiments, we mainly noted one specific parameter. It is weight previous day feature because this may have a huge effect to the output of our machine learning algorithms. So, we tested our first machine learning experiment set with weight previous day feature. The collected results can be seen in the table here. In these experiments, the classification decision tree shows the best results among all other methods. For performance comparison, we have used zero R algorithm as the baseline. Then, somebody can argue that the next day weights depend on the previous day's weight. Therefore, we perform the same experiment set, excluding the feature weight previous day. When we exclude the feature weight previous day, then we can see a significant performance drop for all the method. On the other hand, we can see now the random forest algorithm performs better than the classification decision tree. We perform these experiments to show some capabilities and directions of this data set. Now we are looking at what are the other research direction using this data set. In this diagram, we show a few from a lot of other directions. Using this kind of data set, we can find a correlation between a person's well being and sport performance. Similarly, the readiness of the person is another parameter that can be predicted using this type of data set. On the other hand, we can do experiments to find a suitable mechanism to remove noisy time series data, or we can do research to find data cleaning methods using this data set because this data set has a lot of noisy data also. This data set enables various sports science research directions. If we want to find the best team for the next competition, then we can do research 
to find what is the main dependent factor for that selection using this type of data set. Moreover, we can do research to find vast correlations of parameters based on multiple data and the data sources come from this data set. Finally, we are looking forward to seeing more research activities using this data set. Thank you very much.